I've been working as a graduate software engineer at Accenture in London for about, you know, 10 months or so. And if you're thinking about joining Accenture as an engineer or someone in the tech side of things, then this is the video that you want to definitely watch because I'll cover some of the things of what I did when I first joined the company and also what it's like to work at the company. Hey there, welcome to the channel. If you're new, my name is Saga and as I said before, I'm a software engineer at Accenture, but I studied aerospace engineering at university. So yeah, I've had a non-traditional route to get into tech. So let's rewind a bit to solve when I started working at Accenture. <laughs> And in the beginning, initially, you basically go through a couple of weeks of analyst training, which is called ATAS. Yes, you heard that right. I did say analyst. And that's because everyone who joins the graduate is basically known as an analyst because that's just the way Accenture likes to call their new graduates since it is a consulting company overall. In the first two weeks, you basically learn how to work in an agile environment. You learn how to talk to clients and obtain requirements for specific projects. And you also learn how to implement solutions that you have to make from those requirements. Accenture really stresses to learn on these skills because as you probably already know, Accenture is not just a core technology company like your Facebook, Amazon, Google, but it is a consultancy company. So you have a lot of interactions with clients because in essence, you're not implementing solutions for Accenture you're implementing solutions for other companies that come to Accenture for help. After the two weeks of ATAS training, I was fortunate enough to basically be put onto a 10 week full stack engineer bootcamp. In this bootcamp, you learn JavaScript, HTML, CSS, React, AWS, Postgre, SQL, as well as basically how to build your own backend server using Express and also serverless architecture. And this is all done through individual and group projects. I personally found this very useful because a lot of these technologies are things that I already wanted to learn anyway. So it was kind of fortunate that I got to be paid to learn the stuff I wanted to learn. So after I finished those 10 weeks of full stack engineering training, I was on the bench. Yes, the bench. The bench is not necessarily bad. However, it means you're not really productive for the company because you're not actually working on any particular client project. But this is not terrible though, especially if you're a graduate in your first year because it's quite common that you would be put on the bench for some period of time. And it's not a bad place to be because you can work on your trainings. And during my time on the bench, I actually got my first AWS certification. So that definitely gives me some you know, leverage to get onto AWS style projects. In fact, there was actually quite a number of us on the bench at the same time. So it was something not necessarily to worry about. And if you do join Accenture and find yourself on the bench, I would say not to stress about it, but as long as you're actively searching to get onto a project, then that is not an issue for you. Uh, yeah, I do think it's important to note that within Accenture, it's very much like you're applying for jobs, but whilst you already have a job. So the way Accenture works is that, yes, you do work for Accenture, but then within Accenture, you sort of are sort of competing with each other in some respects to get onto a project because each project in essence counts as a separate job. So you have to send your CV to the people in charge of that project and they assess whether or not you'd be a good fit. Sometimes you have interviews with the people or sometimes it could just be easy as them saying, we need an engineer, come join us if you want to. And then you just go work for that project. So after about a couple of months on the bench, uh, someone messaged me and said, hey, I have this opening on this project. Do you want to join? And I said, yeah, it sounds cool. So yeah, I jumped onto that project and that's where I am to this present day. I can't tell you who the client is that I'm working for. However, what I can tell you is that the tech stack I'm working with right now is React, GraphQL, Node.js, and AWS is the infrastructure behind all of this. The main stuff I've been working on on the project has been predominantly the React and GraphQL side of things, as well as using some content management systems to basically get the data from there and display it on that front-end React app. Awesome, so that's basically my journey from when I first joined Accenture 10 months ago until now. 
But maybe you're wondering, you know, have you been able to travel? Because, you know, sometimes people tell you if you work for Accenture, you get to travel and all this other cool stuff. Well, let me just explain that. My main base is Fenture Street in London, which is basically next to Monument Station. And yeah, you're probably wondering, have I been able to work in other offices or maybe travel to other offices? And the answer is, yes, I have. So my client has a office in a very exotic location, which is where I've been able to actually travel to and work from there. And that is Moorgate. Okay, yeah, it's not really exotic, uh, but you know, it's a different environment, so what can you do? Okay, I'm going to be real with you. Travel opportunities as a graduate Accenture are pretty much non-existent, especially at the current time. And there's a couple of reasons why I think this trend will continue pretty much indefinitely for now. One of the main reasons is that since the pandemic, it's been clear that you don't need to be in a physical location to really do your job effectively. It's quite evident that you can work from home or wherever else in the, in the world and still do the work to the best of your ability. The second reason is a lot of companies are very conscious about sustainability, in particular Accenture, and they want to limit sending people on flights and so on because obviously it looks negatively for the company's carbon footprint. So if they're able to do the work remotely and not have to travel or send, send uh, engineers and technologists to other countries, then they'll choose that option because it just looks better. And technically, yeah, I agree. It is better for the environment. Yeah, I mean, I know it sucks, but you know what? If you are thinking of joining Accenture, let me tell you about one of the best bits about the company. And that is actually the people who work there. If you want to work in an environment where everyone's really friendly with you, everyone's open to your ideas, you know, everyone's open to listening to you, then Accenture is definitely the place for that. As when I've started to work at Accenture, or when, since when I started to work at Accenture, there's been no one that I've met actually who I've thought of is a really negative person. Everyone seems super friendly, super open to talking to you, and also want to help you. So. Working at Accenture, yeah, I would say one of the best things is just the people who are there. Everyone from graduates all the way up to the senior leadership at the company are all open to talking to you as if you're already friends. And I think this is really cool because you get to learn more from each other and there's no, there's no real sort of like, you know, barrier to you know, talking to people who are experienced in the field and also learning from how they achieve their successes and also learning from what they sort of did correctly, what they would have done differently. And I think it's important to have that sort of environment because it helps you learn a lot quicker, especially since you're learning from people who already have maybe like 10, 15, or even 20 years of experience. So all in all, if you don't have a traditional computer science background and want to go into tech, I would say Accenture is a great place to start off your career because for one thing, they like to train their employees, so you're gonna learn a lot of things with the company from more or less like day one. The second thing is that you make a lot of good connections, especially within industry, since Accenture is so big, there's a lot of people you can network with just within the one company itself. And as time goes on, everyone's gonna end up, well, some might stay in Accenture, some might leave to other companies, so you end up having a really good network of people in different companies within the tech sector. And lastly, I'd say, well, yeah, again, people are great, people are super friendly, so if you want to have a enjoyable time working at a company, well, Accenture is probably the place for you. And if you want to see what a day in the life of a software engineer is like at Accenture, click this little link or box over here and it'll take you straight to that video. Thanks for watching this one and enjoy the rest of your day, night, wherever you are. Adios.